Hello, my name is Kim Bex. I currently live in Ormond Beach, Florida, which is right next to Daytona Beach, Florida. I actually um, was born and grew up in the Daytona Ormond Beach area. Um, I lived here until I went to college, which is when I went to Florida State University um, up in Tallahassee. When I started college, I had no idea what I wanted to do as a career and I didn't realize what I wanted to do until just recently. Um, during my time at Florida State, um, during my junior year summer, I got the opportunity to study abroad and it was really neat because the Olympics were there during that time. So we got to go to some of the Olympic games. I actually got to watch um, water polo. It wasn't the Americans, but it was still really neat to go to the Olympic Stadium. Um, it was also the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, so we got to see all of those different um, celebrations while we were there. Um, they actually cut the classes down to four weeks during that time because they rented out the, um, the area where we stayed for the Olympics. And during that time, I took a speech class and my teacher's husband actually got hit by a car while we were there, which is bad but that is what I remember about my study abroad experience. Um, when I got back to college, um, I started my junior year. At my junior year of summer, I started an internship with um, Resort Quest by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Um, and during that time, I was a guest services intern. So I got to um, work the front desk at four different locations. And I also got to experience a little bit of housekeeping. Um, I, got, I didn't have to be a housekeeper, but I got to be the housekeeping inspector. So I would go down to the different rooms that were checking in for the day. And I would make sure, turn on all the lights, make sure the light bulbs all worked. Um, if there were any work orders that needed to be called in, I would do that. I would check all the drawers, make sure no one left anything in there. Um, and it was a really neat experience that I probably wouldn't have had. Um, also during that time, I met my boyfriend, um, my current boyfriend of five years. We met playing kickball for the Resort Quest um, kickball team. Um, after my internship, I went back to Florida State University and I graduated where I graduated with a double major um, in finance and hospitality management. Um, when I got done with college, I moved back home to the Daytona Beach Ormond area and I got my first real job, um, which I currently actually work for the same company, just a different position now. Um, I started as a unit marketing coordinator for Sodexo, which is a food service, um, and we are on the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical Campus, um, which is in Daytona Beach. So I did marketing for a little bit. I didn't have any experience in that. That was a cool experience. And then um, I got promoted to HR assistant, which is my current role. Um, last year, I help my mom during tax season. She is an accountant and she has her own business. So she asked if I would help her do some data entry and during that time that's where I found out, hey, I love accounting. So I applied to Florida Atlantic University, got in, and now I am getting my master's in accounting and professional accounting. Um, at the end of this year, I will be quitting my job in order to go work for my mom. So I'll get to experience um, firsthand tax season, which will be really fun and probably very stressful. Um, I'm currently living with my boyfriend, Casey, um, and we got a puppy um, about two years ago. His name is Doke. He is named after the Doak Campbell Stadium at Florida State University, my choice. Um, he's a Weimariner and he's about 100 pounds, so he's a big guy. Um, I, in my spare time, I love doing yoga. Um, it's very relaxing and I also love to garden. Um, 
the little I know about fraud is um, my best friend's dad went to file his tax return and someone had already filed under his social security number. Also, another example that I see in my daily life working for a food service is we order food and then when it comes to inventory, we find that, a, for example, a case of steaks is nowhere to be found and it has walked off with someone. So I look forward to learning more about fraud in this class and I look forward to meeting all of you.